let me show you a quick and easy way to make security rules in Dynamics 365. Now, before moving on here, I'm going to show you how I got here to begin with. You start within Dynamics. If you are the administrator, you'll be able to go to Advanced Settings. From Advanced Settings, ignore all this stuff. Go directly up top to Settings, drop down, click on Security. And here are the security roles. You go into security roles, here are all your security roles. You can also go alphabetically. I won't bother with that right now. Let me go into the first one, account manager. Then once you go into the actual security role, you have all these rights and permissions of what you can, cannot do. Yeah? Now, if you wanted to start by making a new security role, which I would not recommend because it takes too much time to do that, you would go and click on new over here and then start making uh, you know, assigning permissions and all to it. Now, if you do decide to go this route, you can make your life easy by clicking on the column uh, heading itself and just it will toggle everything all at once. And then you can untoggle things as needed. You could do the same thing with these rows as well. You know, so once you click on it, it will change it for all the different permissions over here. And then you can change things around. Now, what I would recommend though, don't start from scratch, start from a existing security role, which is close to what you want. For example, I'll start with account manager and say, let me copy this role. And by doing the actions, copy role. Okay, yes, I want, that's what I wanna do. So copy, I just need to change the resolution here a bit, zoom out. And here's the, where I can assign the new role name, account role or account manager, and I'll use our company name, Visual SP. Okay, and then yes, open a new security role when copying is complete. Click OK. Copying it takes a few moments, but definitely worth the wait because once it's copied, then you can just go specifically to the permissions and change those permissions or also known as rights instead of starting from scratch completely. Yeah. So here it is, account manager dash visual SP. Now I can go in and change things around. Once again, to make this a little bit easier for me, I can just go ahead and toggle the whole thing, the whole row or the whole column like that, and then change things around. So much easier to make security roles by copying an existing security role instead of starting from scratch.